Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a currency converter in Python. We're going to be using Python, the Frankfurt API to convert currency, and the request library to send API requests to the Frankfurt API. I'm going to first show you how the app works, and then I'll show you how to build it. So without further ado, let's begin. So first, I'm going to run the app by doing python3 solution.py, and here it's going to first prompt me to enter in the currency that I want to convert from. So I'll enter in USD for the US dollar, and then it's going to ask what currency I want to convert the US dollar to. So I'll enter in GBP, which is the great British pound, and lastly, it will ask me the amount of money that I want to convert. So let's say that I want to convert 120 American dollars. I'll enter in 120, and when I hit enter, it will convert the 120 American dollars to the British pound and lets us know how many British pounds it takes to equate to $120. And how this works is basically we're going to store the currency that we want to convert from and then store the currency that we want to convert to and then store the amount of money that we want to convert. And then we're just going to call the Frankfurt API, which will give us our result like so. So to begin, I'm going to first create a file called solution.py, which will be the file that we're going to be writing our code in. And I'll do that by going near the top left here and clicking on this new file icon. And I'm just going to name this file solution.py. Okay. Next, I'm going to create a virtual environment in Python. And I'm currently using a Mac, so I'm going to do Python 3 hyphen M V E N V and then you're gonna to want to type in the name of your environment and I'm just gonna set mine to V E N V. Okay, if you're on Windows, I'll have the command for creating a virtual environment on the screen. So now that we've created our environment, we can activate it by doing source V E N V forward slash bin forward slash activate. And this is the Mac and Linux command if you're on Windows. I'll have the command on the screen. So I'll hit enter. And if you see parentheses and the name of your environment inside the parentheses, that means that your environment has been activated. Okay. So now that we've done this, we're going to want to install requests, which is the library that we're going to be using in order to fetch the Frankfurt API to convert currencies. So I'm going to do pip3 install requests. If you're on Windows, We'll do pip install request, but since I'm on a Mac, I'm just going to do pip3 install request, and I'll hit enter. And if you give it a few seconds, it will finish installing the library in our Python virtual environment. Now we can start writing the code, and I've also cleared my terminal since we're going to be testing this app out later, so this will make it easy for you guys to see what's going on. So first, we're going to write import request to import the request library to fetch the Frankfurt API. Next, we're going to create a variable called from underscore currency, and it'll be equal to this. And this will prompt the user to enter in the currency they'd want to convert from. And this will, of course, be a string, which is why we have the stir function at the beginning. And we also have this dot upper method at the end so that the string is converted to uppercase because our API um, doesn't accept any lowercase values, okay? So next I'm going to do the same thing, but this time it'll be for the currency that we want to convert to. So I'll write the code for it and I'll explain what it means. So this to underscore currency variable will basically store the currency that we want to convert to. And like before, this will prompt the user um, and it'll convert what they enter in into a string using the stir function at the beginning. And we'll also change the casing to uppercase with the dot upper method so that we don't run into any problems with the API. So now let's test it by running our application. So to run the app, I'll do python3 solution.py. And since I'm on Mac, you can do python3 solution.py, but if you're on Windows, you're going to do python solution.py. Okay, so I'll run the app, and here you can see that it prompts us to enter in the currency that we'd like to convert from. So, for example, let's say that I enter in USD. Next, you can see that it prompts us to enter in the currency that we'd like to convert to. 
and for example, I'll enter in GBP for the Great British Pound. Okay, and once I hit enter, it does nothing because we haven't written um, any more code after this. So now that we have this much done, we just need to get the amount of money we want to convert and then fetch the Frankfurt API for the exchange rate and display that exchange rate onto the terminal. So now I'm going to write some code down to get the amount of money and fetch the API and I'll explain to you guys what it means. So amount. Okay, so this amount variable will contain how much money we want to convert. And first we have this input prompt inside of this float function, which will convert whatever amount of money we enter into a decimal value because we don't want to accept strings as input for the amount of money. And next, um, we want to fetch the API. So to fetch the API, I'll also write down the code for this and I'll explain it. So response is equal to So this right here will fetch the Frankfurter API for the exchange rate. And I've basically used this request.get method, which will send a get request to the Frankfurter API. And I've created this f string inside of this request.get method, which contains the URL for the API along with the values that we've entered. So there's this query parameter for the amount of money that we want to convert. And it's called amount, and we're going to set that to the amount variable. And then from is going to be the currency that we're converting from. So I've set this to from currency, which is this variable right here. And two is the cur currency that we want to convert to. So that's why I have the two currency variable. Okay. And lastly, I have this print response dot status code to check if the API was fetched successfully. And we know if it's been fetched successfully, if the status is 200. So now let's run the code. So I'll do python3 solution.py. If you're on Windows, you're just going to do python solution.py. So I'll hit enter and I'll enter in US dollars to Great British Pound and then enter in 120 for the amount of money. And you can see that the response uh, status code is 200, meaning that the fetching is working and all we need to do is display the exchange rate. Okay, so before we display the exchange rate, I'd like to fix a silly mistake I made. So in this from currency variable, in this prompt right here, I put a to at the end instead of from. So I'll change that and now we can start displaying the exchange rate. So to display the exchange rate, all we need to do is first remove the status code right here because we won't be needing that. And I'm just going to write some code down and I'll explain to you what it means. So this right here will print out the exchange rate and this is going to be an F string which will first print the amount of money in the currency we're converting from. Then it will print the currency variable or the from currency variable and then it will print is the exchange rate for the currency that we are converting to. And you'll understand uh, how this is printed once we run the app but I would like to go over what this response.json means right here. So this response.json will return a JSON object for the request and this rates key will have a list of currencies and we need to access the rate for the currency that we are converting to by adding the to currency which will give us the exchange rate. Okay, so now that I've explained that, I'm going to run my code and you'll see how this actually works. So I'll do python3solution.py since I'm on Mac. If you're on Windows, you're just going to do python-solution.py like before. So I'll hit enter. And here you can see that we've fixed the silly mistake. And I'll enter in USD for my from currency and then the Great British Pound for my to currency. And for the amount, I'll enter in $250, okay? So I'll hit enter and here, you can see that it says 250 United States dollars is 190.54 Great British pounds. Okay, so 
you can see that in the result the exchange rate has been returned meaning that we are pretty much done with this application all right guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you found this helpful now of course you can do more with this app such as handling invalid currencies and telling the user to enter in a valid one but i hope this app sort of allowed you to understand how api fetching works with requests in python and if you'd like to learn more, I have a video dedicated to requests in Python on the top right hand corner. And in addition, I'd like to apologize for the inconsistent uploads. I've been dealing with school lately and finals are coming in a few weeks as well, so I've been busy. However, if this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.